Take a look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Well, let's be honest. That didn't look very good for me at the Elimination Chamber. Because thanks to Triple H doing everything in his power to hold me down yet again, not only did I have to defeat Braun Strowman, I had to do it in an Elimination Chamber match against five other superstars where I had to enter first with the Monster Among Men. But despite all of that, I overcame the odds and stand here as your new Universal Champion! So, what's next? Well, here we go again. Buzz can't catch a break. I hate to admit it, but what you said is true. I have done everything in my power to keep this moment from happening, and it didn't work. But I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have a plan B, or C, or D, or E. You see, I have done everything in my power to stop you except for bringing back the most powerful force in sports entertainment. So you've left me with no choice. It's time for Plan E. It's time for evolution. Are you kidding me? Evolution is back. This is not good for Buzz. Triple H has sent a powerful message to Buzz that he will go to any lengths to destroy his career. After what Evolution did to Buzz tonight, it might already be destroyed. We've been wondering all week how Buzz would respond to Evolution's attack, and it looks like we're about to Sir, find I'm out. I'm going to have to ask you to stop right there. You think we're playing here? I don't want to have to hurt you. Ow! After the beating he took last week, he'd be better off staying on the bus. Knowing this guy, I don't think that's going to happen. Is Evolution even inside that limo? I don't know, but it looks like Buzz is determined to find out. Triple H from behind with a sledgehammer. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Harsh impact. Oh, it is aggression, just pure oh. brutality. Come on, easy. He's not looking like himself here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. It doesn't get any easier when you're backstage, and it looks like he's finding that out the tough way. I think a lot of people right now are scratching yeah. their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Ah. Boom, right in the button. 
He's in a little bit of trouble now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's yeah. shown so far tonight. Yeah. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Beautiful technique. That was impressive, Cole. Oh, what impact! Ah. Triple H with some reason to worry here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. He may not be looking good now, Cole, but there are so many weapons back there that he can very easily turn this thing around in an instant. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. Gonna be careful not to get disqualified. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. <laughs> Goes down hard. Oof. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Will Triple H even be able to continue? How could you question the game? <laughs> right oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. showing a lot of heart here, but how can he turn this around in his favor? And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Can he finish him off here? And now Randy Orton and Batista attack Buzz from behind. We should have known these two would get involved. This certainly looks like a setup now. Oh no. Buzz is trapped in there. This is taking things way too far. No, no, no. We need some medical help back there immediately. It's going to take a lot of work to just get him out of the limo. I can't believe Triple H and Evolution resorted to something like this. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where if you missed the updates on social media throughout the week, we're happy to inform you that Buzz miraculously escaped last week's limo crash without suffering any major injuries. He may not have suffered any serious injuries, but our Universal Champion looks nowhere near 100% after what Evolution did last week. He's in no condition to be out here. He should have just stayed home to recover. I don't think that's in his DNA. Well, then he needs a gene transplant. I'm not out here to make some long speech about everything Triple H has done to me this past year. No. I'm only out here for one thing tonight. Revenge. Evolution. I know you're back there. And I'm not leaving this ring until you come out and face me.
I gotta hand it to you, Buzz. You are resilient. I mean, you survived a high-speed limo crash, and the very next week, you're right back out here looking for a fight. But it seems that for all the guts you have, you're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. Because if you haven't noticed, we have a three-on-one advantage, and I think we all know from the last couple of weeks how that's going to turn out. You know, I may be a bit stubborn sometimes, but I'm not stupid. If anything, Triple H, you've taught me that I can't always do everything on my own. So that's why I decided to even the playing field just a little bit. We saw Buzz team up with Finn Balor in his battles against Bray Wyatt, and now Finn is here once again to have his back. Okay, so you have one other guy. Big deal. We still outnumber you. It's AJ Styles from SmackDown Live! What's he doing here? Obviously, Buzz reached out for backup. Now I'd say it's a little more even. You should know this is far from over. At WWE Fastlane, it will be Evolution versus the three of you. Wow, that is a match I never thought we'd see. Yeah, that is a dream match if there ever was one.